I am Mark Stewart Greenstein. This is the last edition before Election Day. It's 8 o'clock Monday, November 5th. And I want to speak about where progressivism goes wrong. It's the reason I got into this race in the first place. I, a Democrat, who likes liberal, that means old-fashioned liberal ideals, and sees my party leaders, not the rank and file, I don't think, my party leaders, though, way off to the left themselves and being moved even further left because leftists, those are committed people to basically taking down the capitalist system that has built America so well. That's a leftist. And they align with Democrats and only Democrats. Well, sometimes they'll align with Greens and Socialists, but never with Republicans. They don't like independents. So Democrats get some win by associating with the far left. The far left agenda is not an American agenda. It's not what the Democrat Party should be about. I would like to see my party divorce itself from the far left. Progressivism in terms of wanting social redistribution, fine. Good argument, America can be very strong with a welfare orientation that's done by the state. I happen to think it's better when it's done privately, but I have no issue with state welfare if that's really what the people want. Put it up to regular voting, regular referenda, let's see how it does. Now, here is an example of progressives getting terribly wooed. It's the very alluring cause of environmental protection. I mean, who can't like the environment? Protecting our waters, keeping our air clean. Of course we like this, but here's the problem. The environmental movement is also infected by the extreme left. They use well-meaning environmentalists and turn them into Marxists. Or if they don't turn them, they have a Marxist agenda that the left has to, or the environmentalists, have to buy into. Greenpeace is a perfect example. Greenpeace was formed not for an environmental cause. It was to stop nuclear war, stop the buildup that would, they thought, inevitably lead us into a nuclear exchange. Greenpeace was pro-human. Modern Greenpeace is not. They're pro-plant. They're pro-certain animals at the expense of humans. They, they characterize now humans as the enemies of Earth. Okay, that's not what Greenpeace was supposed to be. But they end up getting fed money by some far leftists. And so they go even further over themselves. Now, here comes policy. Greenpeace is for banning chlorine worldwide. Chlorine is a chemical made by a few big companies. Sorry, it's manufactured and distributed by, it is a natural chem chemical. Chlorine is good. It's a purifier. We in America could not live without chlorine. Yet, because they want to diminish the profits of some big companies, they want to take it away from third world countries. Now, they're the ones who might be able to get away with it more than Americans would ever give it up. And so in the process, it's third world countries that suffer the most. They're the ones for whom disease becomes more widespread because they don't have as good protections. Chlorine is a generally good substance. Stop hurting the world with your anti-capitalist rhetoric. Here's another, golden rice, okay? It helps people, but Greenpeace has been on a fad against that as well. Finally, the movement to cut down on fossil fuels, use ethanol instead. Ethanol makes poor people poorer because it doesn't allow fossil fuels which really enrich people. When used correctly, fossil fuels help 
countries develop. You want to get rid of that, you end up keeping Indonesians poor. You end up keeping most of Africa poor. We had the chance to develop in the West. Thank goodness we did, using chemicals well. You want to be against chemical use? Then you're keeping the third world longer as a third world than it should. Please, when the environmentalists give you pamphlets about environmental protection, read only about the protection part. Who might be behind it is not as valid as the science behind it. Environmental protection is something I am fervently for, but I'm fervently when the science is good and devoid of political rhetoric. Thank you for listening. I'll stay on live with most of you, and I greatly appreciate your time with me these last few months. Have a great night and a wondrous election day. I'm Mark Stewart Greenstein.